1-3 How Transactions Change Owner's Equity in an Accounting Equation You can see we have the accounting equation and the accounts under each of the three classifications. We've added one new one under Assets, Accounts Receivable. Accounts Receivable is where we capture what customers owe us when they buy on account, on account of they didn't have the money at that time and they don't pay us in cash. They'll pay us at some point in the future. So we have six transactions here that'll affect owner's equity. So let's get right into it. The first one, received cash from sales. So the first thing we know is that we, we receive cash. So what we're going to do is increase cash. In this case, we're going to increase cash by $295. And when we have a sale, we're increasing the worth of the business by that same amount, $295. Now, of course, in this situation, the assets, it will equal liabilities plus owner's equity because we increase both sides by the same amount. And we'll check this a little later on. Now, our second transaction, we sold services on account. Sold services on account simply mean that our customer did not have the money at the time of sale, and they will pay us at some point in the future. So we don't increase cash because we did not receive cash. What we do in increase is accounts receivable because people owe us that money. So what we're going to do is increase accounts receivable by $350. And that's treated the same way as a sale. The only difference is one we got cash and one we didn't. But it's still increasing the worth of the business because we made a sale. Our third transaction, we have expenses in the business, and this is one of them. Paid cash for rent. Apparently we rent a building, so we're going to pay the rent for that building. And it's $300, and we pay this in cash. So what we're going to do then is subtract the $300 from cash and this actually reduces the worth of the business. So we're going to subtract under owner's equity $300. Our fourth transaction is we paid cash for our telephone bill, perhaps our cell phone for our business or the line to which customers may call us. In this case, it was $40. So what happens here is that we need to subtract $40 from cash. And we're also going to subtract $40 from equity because we paid that money out of what we originally put in. Now we're going to receive some cash. In this case we're receiving cash on account. These are from people who previously owed us but did not pay cash at the time of the sale. So in this case let's assume that we received two hundred dollars from our customer. In this case, we are going to reduce another asset called accounts receivable by 200. If you notice, we do not touch the right side of the equation at all. All we're affecting is the left side, which is cash and accounts receivable. And the next transaction is we're going to pay cash to the owner for personal use. The owner of the business put the $5,000 in initially, as you can see the beginning, owner's equity, and they have a right to withdraw money. However, when they withdraw money from the business, we do need to keep these separate. So we will show this transaction. In this case, the customer withdrew $125 from the business. So we subtract $125 from cash, and it's going to reduce the worth of the business by $125. And as I said, our customer has all the rights to take money out of the business because it is their own investment in the business. Now, we have added up all columns after our six transactions. And when we add the asset, all the asset values together, what we get is 5380 on the left side. And when we add our liabilities and owner's equity together, we get $5,380. Simply put, assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. We're in balance, and now we've done the transactions that affect owner's equity.